Gamer certification, is that even a thing? We're gonna talk about it today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by funnycleaningshirts.com, and this is a hub that has gifts and shirts and coasters and mugs and clocks and all kinds of fun wearable art and things like that that have something to do with the cleaning business. So if you would like to give you a gift for your house cleaner for Christmas, this is a great place to go. Or if you are a cleaning business owner and you would like to have awards that you give to your employees as incentives, it's a really fun thing that we're doing at funnycleaningshirts.com. Now check it out. Every day we have a free contest where we give away one free cleaning shirt. So follow us on Instagram if you're not already. The links are in the show notes, both in the podcast and the YouTube version. So follow us and win a free t-shirt. All right, on to today's show. There's a house cleaner that bought a steamer and she wrote into the show and she wanted to know, is there steamer certification that I can take? It was a great question and the answer is probably not. When you buy a piece of equipment, unless it's a really high-end piece of equipment and the manufacturer is gonna walk you through how to use it, pretty much it's you're on your own, okay? When you buy a vacuum, when you buy a steamer, any of these things that you buy on a regular open marketplace, you're kind of on your own. And so if you run a cleaning business, what I recommend is this. I recommend that you get the user's guide and that you read it from cover to cover. Once you've understood all of the different fine print bullet points, then I would recommend that you write questions that the answers are in the bullet points. And then what I recommend doing is having a training day at your business, and it's gonna be different for every business. This is not something you just buy a training for and sit down and, and watch the training because every business has their own equipment. They have their own steamers, their own vacuums, they have their own equipment that works for their type of business. And so my recommendation is that you create your own training where on a Saturday maybe, for example, you bring in all of your employees and you let them test out the equipment so that they know how strong and how powerful a vacuum might be. Or when they use a vacuum hose, here's how to put all the attachments together. Or if it's a steamer, how you disconnect the handle if you're gonna just use it as a handheld steamer and what is the pressure of the steam that comes out. So for example, if you're gonna steam the grout in the side of a bathtub, where do you stand? Where do you put your cord? How do you turn the machine on and off? What do the buttons mean? Does one mean high steam and one means low steam? I want you to be really familiar with the equipment that you're using. The worst thing to me is having a house cleaner that shows up to a customer's house. They have a new piece of equipment that they've never used and they're fumbling with it, and they're trying to figure out how to use it, and they're experimenting on the surfaces of the customer's home. And then they don't know, can I use this brush, or should I not use it? Like a steamer, for example, the one that we recommend comes with 25 different attachments. One of those attachments is a wire bristled brush. Now, if you didn't know any better, you'd say, wow, this is gonna get some really you know, icky stuff off. But if you use that, for example, on the inside of a toilet, you would scratch the porcelain right off. So that's an absolute no-no, and I don't ever want you to try that. That should be inside your company training. This wire bristled brush is to be used on nothing else, nothing else except a barbecue grill, okay? And then when they know exactly what that is and there's a test and they have to sign off on the test and they, they say, I know the answers, after they've passed the test on all the different pieces of equipment you have, and the different attachments and what you use this for and what do you use this for. And then here's the attachment we have that goes to the vacuum here. Do you use this on upholstery or on a stairway? And they need to know the difference. What is this for just by looking at it? Are there other ways that I can use this? And what are the other ways that are acceptable by my company? Because while the manufacturers may say one thing, you might have a different purpose for it and it might work perfectly for you because you never intend to use the manufacturer's warranty because the product you're using is not warrantied under commercial use. So you might have a different use for it altogether, which is fine if you articulate that up front and then everyone in your company play by the same rules. And you wanna make sure that it's safe to do. If you go rogue and you say, here's how we're gonna use this equipment and it's not safe by the manufacturer, you could be putting your employees in harm's way. And so I don't want you under any circumstance to give your employees some equipment and just turn them loose, okay? That's, That's wrong. But if you have a training where you ask questions, you let them touch it, you let them roll up the cord, you let them figure out, here's how heavy it is, 
If I'm doing a job and I'm tired, this is how I, I maneuver it or operate it. If there's an extension cord, where does the extension cord need to be if I'm using this? What can you get this close to? Can you get it close to electrical objects? Can you get it under running water or must it stay away from running water? You need to know all of those things and it needs to be tested by your employees. All right, then you keep a file on file of all of the employee training that your employees have had on that particular equipment. Then there are no surprises. There's no guesswork. And when you send them out into the field with whatever your upsell kit is, and that's the special equipment that you're training them on. When you send them out into the field, they've been trained. They're signed off that they've been trained. You watch them be trained. You know that they're trained. You're comfortable with them using it. You're familiar with the process in which they're going to be using it. They know what jobs use this equipment and what jobs don't. They know what personal equipment, personal protective equipment is assigned to this particular product. So if I ever use this steamer, this is the personal protective equipment I must be wearing at the same time, right? So there are all these little different facets and I would create that and set that up so that there are no surprises and so that when you send them out, they're, they're, they're comfortable with the equipment and they're good to go. So that is my suggestion for you. All right, if you have suggestions of your own, jump down in the comments below, ask your questions, leave your answers, and help us spread this conversation. Because right now we're having some great conversations in our chat room below, also in our community. If you're not part of our community, you can hit the subscribe button and that sucks you into the community. When we have something going on that only the community members see, you're part of it. All right, until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.